Hi everyone, so I was reading ophthalmology and the chapter was trauma and in this trauma there is a topic of subconjunctival hemorrhage and one of the cause or risk factor for subconjunctival hemorrhage is Valsalva maneuver uh, along with trauma and other uh, risk factors so especially about Valsalva maneuver uh, that uh, made me or reminded me to uh, share this knowledge whenever you are doing gym or you are uh, you know lifting heavy weights or even at home you are putting pressure or lifting your table or something never ever even when you are uh, pressing that barbell in your gym never ever close your eyes and do this thing well what are you doing at this moment well in medical terms we call it valsalva maneuver when you are you are not releasing any air from your nostrils or your mouth, but still you are, you know, accumulating that pressure inside your abdomen and lungs like <laughs> this thing. This is Valsalva maneuver. So whenever you do this and you close your eyes and try to, you know, get that uh, force from your body to uh, push that uh, barbell up, uh, it kind of uh, puts... A bad kind of uh, pressure on your microvasculatures of your conjunctiva maybe of your sclera and it can lead to as it's mentioned over here in my prep ladder notes of conjunctival hemorrhages and it can also lead to you know uh, vessels will inflame in your uh, sclera so try to avoid that because uh, if in uh, worst case that you, even you don't know or people don't know if they have any kind of comorbidity it can lead to uh, permanent eye damage so try to avoid that in your gym never close your eyes and do that thing okay rather keep your eyes open and you can do the well salva so because you are not uh, putting pressure on your auricular or muscles eye muscles so it's not the strain is not that much rather as compared to when you close your eyes and pressure okay that's it take care guys stay safe everywhere